Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan. As far as I know, you can't do a basic file management thing in version 4. You can take a deck and then do a change and save it under a different name. You have to change the original deck. But I'm going to change this deck because I'm going to update Blue Red Control to the deck played by MD Vayu 2 in the Pauper Daily on January the 10th. It's the rather dated version that I played in the Pauper Gauntlet that I'm changing. Uh, MD Vayu 2 decided to play Ponder over Preordain. I don't understand that, but the difference is so slight, so I'm sure he has a good argument for it. For Cruise, this Into the Royal also surprises me. Wow, I would very much like to have an Onus Grace over that. And the deck doesn't play Exclude anymore. He plays Essence Scatter, 3 Essence Scatter, 4 Mana Leak. This is a deck I played against yesterday with the Mimic Dump deck. Wow. Can I really cut the excludes? And no firebolts. Why not firebolt over lightning bolt? Because you remove it. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Let's cut it. Still not sure. Seems like you would have a lot of other cards to throw away to treasure crews. And one reason Lightning Bolt is so little played in Pauper is because there are very few 3 toughness creatures. They all have 2 or 4 toughness. Okay, I am really playing Essence Scatter over Exclude. That goes against everything I believe in. And I don't want 4 counter spells. This deck surely must be faster if it's going to get away with this. I play just 8 islands and 3 mountains and then we find room for 3 quicksand. Bye bye exclude, remove all copies. Ok over to the sideboard, 4 pyroblasts, 3 curse of the bloody tome, against control then I Assume. Decks like Tron shouldn't like that. Familiars. Uh, two negates. Because this spell is. Oh, we have one this spell. Uh, oh, this stupid thing. Move to sideboard, move to sideboard, and then one in another version. Uh, two magma sprays because some creatures are just too irritating. One electricery. Gorilla Shaman is way too good, so we don't want to play him. Uh, we need another into the royal for something. And we don't care about Hydroblast. So what do we do against Burn? And what do we do against Affinity? Uh, pretty much nothing. But we have a curfew against Hexproof. Okay, let's try this. Uh, the deck is listed as Blue Red Delver, but I don't find it to be a Delver deck. It's much more like the old Isset Control. What the hell is this? Constructed Open Play. Tournament Practice. There we go. Play. Okay, let's try to control this. We don't have the compulsive resources. We don't have excludes. Yes, I want to play first. Keep. This deck should be able to abuse Treasure Cruise a lot. I would like Preordains and Ponders in a deck that tries to abuse Treasure Cruise. 
But he has played the deck a lot, I haven't. Well, now I can actually sit down and try to defend this Delver. Yes. Go all the way, Mr. Delver. All the way. Ah, no way. It's a mirror match, I think. Mm, looks that way. That uh, sounds extremely boring. <laughs> oh my god. Let's ponder this. Mana leaks, Swiss Tote Eclipse, Treasure Cruise. Well, I obviously want this. Put the land on top so we get it, and then we use the Evolving Wilds. No, we want the treasure cruise as well. God, we're not gonna be able to use the... Okay, let's do it like this. Put on top, put on top, put on top. No shuffle. Play this. And attack, and now the Delver is doomed. So then we get to decide if we want the mana leak or not. Delver is dead. Your Delver should be dead too. Three cards in the graveyard. Hmm. Do we want that mana leak? Well, we can pick it up now and leave his Delver alive. Okay, we'll rather have the Muldrifter and then we go for another red mana and then we can double kill the Delver next turn. And then we could go a cruising. He is almost at cruise already. Of course, counterspelling the other player's cruise must be crucial. <laughs> okay, you cared about the Seagate Oracle, I think. Maybe you shouldn't care. So tempting with the Maldrifter. Slash it. He bounces it. I could have bolted it. But I want to go cruising for two. Play that and play the Delver. But now it's his time to go cruising. Yes. And then he can counter my Malrifter. Quick sound is utterly worthless in the mirror. Bob 
And uh, he chooses not to shuffle. He kills the Delver. He is tapped out here, so uh, we can go drifting. This is just a mindless card advantage battle. Lifts. You probably play Ponder or Preordain to be able to dig more for Treasure Cruise. Could that be the case? Treasure Cruise seems pretty good here. I'm starting to fall asleep. I like control mirrors, but for some reason I'm like, is it control mirrors? I can't. And he has a Maldrift there. Kicking my Maldrifter would be interesting. With Into the Royal. He goes for that thing, so kill it, time to ponder, yes I want that, but in which order? That was the wrong order, uh, no. Okay, I'm kicking this as in response to kill spell. Must not use this. We ponder some more. I now can actually ship it away. Put on top, put on top, put on top. No. Shuffle it away. And don't cast Treasure Cruise into a counter spell. I think. Here comes Booba! Booba must die. Die, Booba, die! Bye bye, Booba. He hasn't played the land yet, but he didn't find the land, so now I can cruise. Cruise like a god! Oh yeah. So how much does the second cruise cost? Seven. That's what I have. Keep up. I'll keep up the into the royal. Could be a thing. Tapping out, maybe not the best. I don't know, maybe the right play is to cast treasure cruise here. Not sure. Please burn. Yes! Woohoo! That's value. I like that. But it's probably gonna essence scatter it. I can, it's safe from a uh, mana leak though. He goes a cruise in. I'm just two cards deeper than him. And I'm behind on the clock. Here comes Johnny. Okay, that guy deserves to die. 
This is evil. And now I'm definitely gonna bolt in response to something dealing with that. Bolt it. Filling up the yard. Okay, now I will either be able to cast Maldrifter or Cruise. But it doesn't get Essence Scattered. So dig, 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 dig for value. Curse of the Bloody Tomb. Do you dare use it against his deck? I am not sure. It seems super dangerous. On the other hand, he's digging a lot. I'll check my old sideboard plan for the mirror, but that's probably not relevant anymore. Okay, so how many cruises do we have left? Two. We we'll probably play the exact same 75. I think exclude would be a great advantage here. Here comes the Malrifter. Cruise, defend the cruise. That's my plan. But first, Flame Slash. And then Cruise. Nice. Play the Swift Water Cliff. Keep double counter spell and a bolt up. And swing for three. Not gonna defend there. I'm only defending against card draw spells. I'm not gonna defend against that either. Maybe I should have. Yeah, that would have been worth uh, an essence scatter. He has four cards. So he could very well double counter this cruise. Please kill it so I can cruise. Yes. Okay. Let's go a cruising. Sweet. I'm gonna wait a turn with playing the Mulrifter. Let's play Delver here. He's down to three. So now strangle his card draw. I want more hard counter spells in this deck. Oh yeah. I say no to that. No to your cruiser. And he has one of his counter spells. Could be critical.
Yeah, now I could be a lost cause here. If you can counter this. We don't have too many kill conditions as well. 16 left. Will I die by decking? How do I kill him? How many creatures do I left? I don't have time to check, I feel. I'm almost down to the 16 minute mark, which is critical. Ona's Grace, where are you? Of course, you can't play Ona's Grace with four treasure cruises. Okay, no card draw for you. That's what we decided. I don't know if I have anything left. And even if I do, I have no way of defending it. So you're definitely bringing Pyroblast and Negate, the spell. No, I say. No card draw. Oh, dying faster. <laughs> this is getting scary. Okay, we want the counter spell to protect the Maldrifter. Maybe we even want the counter spell first. Yeah, I think so. But now we have to use it only to protect the Maldrifter, because we need that Maldrifter to win. 22 minutes, this is gonna be so long. What do I do about this treasure cruise? I gotta have to counter it. I'm sorry. That's his second counter spell. But it works. And now I have no way of protecting my Maldrifter. Which may very well be my last creature. Here we go. Down to nine cards in the deck. Oh, another creature. Down to seven cards in the deck. Look at that guy. I mean, eight cards in the deck. Okay, one of these should survive. I think Firebolt would be excellent here. You still would have ammunition. I've used all my treasure cruises. I still have ammunition. But, of course, MD Value 2 is a much better player of this deck than I am. Uh, oh. <laughs> Can't mana leak that. Firebolt would also give one more damage to the face than Lightning Bolt, which seems relevant here. And I don't have the hard counters to back up this Seagate Oracle, so he's gonna die too. I'm gonna deck myself. But I am now ahead on the clock, which is important. For this match. My opponent is Quand B507. Also known as the Slayer. No, 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 you 
cannot have that. It's way too good. It is not allowed. I say no to you, sir. Oh, he didn't have two counter spells. He had more. I want more counter spells too. It's the charge of the light brigade. Go, go, Oracle. Well, I draw nine more cards. That should count for something. But I now need to hit him four more times with this Seagate Oracle. What could possibly go wrong? Well, that. Seagate Oracle, we trust in you. Maybe you have to go for Curse. To get the win condition. But wouldn't that allow him just to uh, treasure cruise like crazy? Well, I can deal with that guy. With my flame slash mind you, nothing else. And if he counters the flame slash, then I'm gonna have a problem. Oh, not an extra point of life. <laughs> uh, Mulrifter. I can't cast a Mulrifter. If he kills it, it's all over. And he could be stuck with a, a electrostatic bolt. No, we've seen two. So maybe I have to play this Malrifter. To get more damage on the board. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Scary. Four cards left. Can he make me draw? I don't think he can. No, not life. I don't like it when you have life. Okay, if I get to hit with these two, it's gonna be great. But I need to do it twice. Attack him, kill him. His resources are drained. Three cards left in my library. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, what if he counters the bolt? Okay, let's bolt him on his turn so I may be able to protect it with a double... with a double mana leak. Yes! <laughs> oh, wow! Yes, that was interesting. Okay, checking old sideboard plan for is it control. There is no sideboard plan for the mirror. So, let's make one. Plus four pyroblast. What about the curse? You have no way of dealing with the curse. But I'm gonna play as if the curse is a bad thing. So I bring in these seven cards. Seagate Oracle is a win condition. <laughs> but no, he's made for blocking people on the ground. Uh, I don't like into the Royal in this matchup. And then what? Maybe two mana leaks. Three mana leaks. Because I have replaced them with better counter spells. 
I, I don't know about that. Well, I could take out the electro bolts and one manually. I am trying that. Let me know what you think. Spell negate negate. Take out the Seagate oracles into the royal electrostatic bolt, electrostatic bolt, and one manalik. Like this. Tell me what you think. Keep it. Now I definitely have the option of timing him out as well. Pyroblast is gold in this matchup, of course, as all his win conditions are blue except Lightning Bolt. Evolving Wilds is here. I have no way to stop a cruise. No business, but I am keeping up Essence Scatter here, I think. Am I? Am I really? I don't think he's cyborg scene electric. I think I need to push here. Because one of my Delvers is going to die. Interesting not to kill it in my main phase. Maybe he doesn't have creature kill, but he should. Or maybe he cyborgs them out. Uh, no. And uh, no. Okay, this will be the best electricery in the world, but I can't see why he would have brought in electricery. All the Delvers, all the time. Do we have negate against hexproof? Is that the idea? Because this spell just seems so much better. No, no way. Oh, yes, yes, way. Ah, uh, new cards for you. Does this mean that I should evoke this Malrifter now just to get the cards? Because I'm never gonna be able to play it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Ponder. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. ecstasy is pure and good. No. Okay, that's an evoked Maldrifter if there ever was one. And he has a lot to do on his turn. I think one of these Delvers will die then i will ponder then my cruise will be very cheap here's his very cheap cruise and now he has a full grip of cards but remember the main plan is still to time him out
okay. Do something. I already count one of my Delvers as dead, but the Delver doesn't die. That's extremely interesting. Go, go Delvers. Now I need to treasure cruise just to find a counter spell, but I don't have enough fuel yet. Ah. Okay, put on top, put on top. It should have been the dispel, right? Five cards in the graveyard. Pyroblast for a blocker. He could find two burn spells here and just... No! He didn't find a... Why didn't he? He had so much removal. He had full grip of cards. That's weird. That was surprising to me. Okay, I don't know how to name this deck now, but I'm gonna call it You Are Delver, as that is what it was called on Goldfish. I'm gonna make a note which deck it is. Uh, cause to me, a You Are Delver deck is a very aggressive deck, and this is definitely a control deck, but it is much different from the old control deck, so maybe it deserves a new name. Thank you for watching.